Hi, this is Mike of Leap Heavy. Today I want to show you how to measure a jaw plate. With the data, we can make one that fits your jaw crusher. If you get the sizes of the jaw plate, you can give it to us then we can make it for you. And measuring, and understanding how it works when they are used for crushing. Which will simply help you improve the processes of your crushing line. Before measuring, these tools need to be prepared. Well, without further ado, let's get started. There are 10 steps in this video. Here is the first step, the length of the jaw plate. Using a measuring tape to measure it. Then we'd get the result. Step 2. The width of the jaw plate. Likewise, just simply use tape to measure it. Then we'd get the result. Step 3. The length of the dovetail. As you see, the position being measured is called a dovetail. Well, also, use tape to measure it. Then we'd get the result. Step 4. The horizontal distance between lifting hole. Here you should pay attention to the means of measuring. The beginning of the tape should align at the edge of the hole vertically. Then measure the same position of the other hole as shown in the video. Then we'd get the result. Step 5. Vertical distance between lifting hole. As the same as the last step, use the beginning of the tape to align at the edge of the hole vertically. Then measure the same position of the other hole as shown in the video. Then we'd get the result. Step 6. Width and height of dovetail. Here we use the 90 degree angle tri-square ruler measure tool and a normal ruler to measure the width and height. The height is 46 and the width is 50. Step 7. The angle of the dovetail. Here we use the universal angle meter. Put this on the horizontal line. Rotate the button to match the angle. Then we'd get the result, 69 degree. Step 8. The width of positioning groove. If your plate has one, use tape to measure it as shown in the video. Step 9. Thickness of the jaw plate. In order to get the accurate thickness, we need several strips. Then we'd get the result. Step 10. The diameter size of the lifting hole. It is a design tool that is 55 millimeters big in diameter. Warm tip. This hole can only be bigger. So we want to make sure it is the same as the drawing size or larger. Then both of them will work. Here is one more thing. You can use this way to get the diameter size as well. If you get all the sizes, fill out this form and give it to the factory and make your custom jaw plate. Here is all about measuring. If you find it helpful, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. If you want any information about Crusher Parts, come visit our website, leapheavy.com, in which we share the news of mining and aftermarket knowledge. Thank you for watching. See you next time.